Hello, 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 Aquarius Pisces. Welcome to your love reading. So today we're going to be looking into a connection that you're currently dealing with. And keep in mind that the rules can be reversed. Okay, so take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. And let's see where we go. I'm feeling a little bit down. So maybe there is something that you're kind of disappointed at. Let's see. We have Peony. Interesting. And let's get one more. All right. Bottom, bottom, <laughs> bottom of the deck, we have Peruvian Lily. Strength. More effort will get you what you want. Okay. So we have Peony. Health. Focus on all parts to make the whole. Wisteria. Longevity. Plan for and take the dedicated path. And we also have Crocus, breathe, calm, rest, stop, and just be. So maybe you're a bit disappointed on where the relationship is at right now. Um, and you may be feeling a little bit discouraged to keep going and to move forward and to make this situation work. I actually feel like um, with this health, focus on all parts to make the whole. I actually feel like this is something that could be quite healthy. I feel like this is something that could have a lot of long-term potential. That is definitely something that you see with this longevity. Um, but it's almost like i feel like perhaps part of you is and this could also be this person is like you're seeing that potential but maybe you're not putting enough because like we have this like thing here of like more effort will get you what you want so it's like maybe you're not putting enough effort or you're like you're kind of giving up and you may feel that this person is not putting any effort at all uh either but there's something here around like you being a bit disappointed i i feel but i i do feel like there is this thing of like you know, with that Aquarius side, you have this vision of what do you want in a relationship. And I feel like it is about like you keeping that vision and you keep doing something that you love. Keep doing something that um, really inspires you. Actually, I don't feel like this is the deck. Ah, yeah, that feels good. So this is the Harmony Tarot. So I really feel like this is about you getting into harmony and perhaps trying to figure out, okay, where are things already in a harmonious place? You know, um... And it's not just about like this relationship. It's also about like what are you going through that is creating harmony and creating health in this relationship. And what is this person going through and creating in their own personal life to create health and stability in this relationship, you know? Um, but yeah, let's see here. So we have Ace of Wands. We have the Divine. Knight of Pentacles. Uh, Digitalis. Interesting. We have the Goldfinch. Six of Cups. We have the cliff and the mirror. So we have strong Aries energy coming through. Um, the five of pentacles also wants to come out. Is this like a, I don't know, someone you're in no contact with? Uh, or like an ex or something? Because I kind of got that hint with the six of cups. Uh, and this ace of wands, uh, the first thing that I heard was renewal. But it could just be like a renewal in your current relationship, you know, a new beginning here, a new cycle that is starting. Um, but talking just a little bit about signs first, we have strong Aries energy coming through. You also have Virgo and Libra and Taurus. Um, but, you know, this person doesn't have to be any of those signs for this to resonate. But let's get started here. So Ace of Wands in a current energy, I really feel like things are getting into that healthy place. You know, I really feel like things are getting into a place where... Uh, it's able to grow and blossom into something more. You know, I feel like things are ready to expand and to grow. I just feel like perhaps you're looking into um, the things that are not working, you know, because I feel like a lot of these things that are working is that thing of like being created individually. You are working on yourself. This person is working on, them, on themselves. And um, we have like the divine, we even have here the third eye. So you could be meeting a lot in the 5D and i really feel like you're getting aligned with one another so that's really good and i feel like what is causing you confusion is that you have those intuitive hints of longevity you have those intuitive hints of oh but this could be something so great and it could be and it can be it's just that a lot of the progress that is being made at the moment is being made um spiritually on a 5d level and not so much in a 3d level okay um and honestly, with this mirror here, I'm not sure if that is going to change, but we'll get into that. So talking here about your side, we have the divine on what, like how you're connecting with this, um, the energy you're putting into this relationship. And I kind of feel like this is talking about you 
I, I really feel like you have grown so much and I really feel like you have been creating a lot of stability for yourself. I really feel like you have been dismantling a lot of limiting beliefs and you have been really like evolving and growing. And I really feel like that is showing. And so that is the energy that you're putting into this relationship is that now you're ready to uh, dismantle and reroute this relationship, you know, replant this relationship um, into a new pot, into new soil, you know. Um, be it you're in separation or not, it doesn't matter. I really feel like there is a new beginning here happening and it's like a new attitude from your side, a new perspective, a new a new energy, essentially. Um, wow, it's celebrating a lot. But on your feelings, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I really feel like you're wanting to take things slowly. I also feel like this is talking about that disappointment of perhaps things, things are moving a bit too slow for your like... Um, but I really feel like it is how it is supposed to, to be, you know, because I feel like there is a new beginning and that new beginning requires time and requires patience. And I don't, I keep, I keep getting the need to reassure you that that vision you have of longevity, that vision you have of this being something good, this being something great, I really feel like it is solid. I really feel like it is coming from an authentic place, an intuitive place. And it's not something that you should discard, you know, but there are other things um playing around here and they are super important okay uh that you have that patience and that you keep holding that vision as well okay with this digitalis on how you see this person i feel like you see this person has being very balanced um has being very i don't know like transforming and being in a very beautiful and solid place however i actually feel like it's not that they are not but i feel like there is more happening below the surface you know because i do feel like partly yes they are really connected with themselves and all that but i also feel like they are going through some things here they could be um leaving some things behind even internally but i also feel like there's some uh, like the goldfinch talks about travel and this obviously could be something out of distance but i also feel like it's them traveling within themselves and traveling within their life towards new beginnings so they could be clearing up and moving a lot of things in their life and still trying to create a lot of balance within themselves but with this digitalis i also feel like the perception you may have may actually be from social media that's why i also feel like this could be like a no contact separation kind of thing but i do feel like the perception you have may be through social media and remember social media is not everything okay so um a lot of these things are happening and this person doesn't share that in social media okay so just just keep that in mind, okay? But getting back into this person, we have the goldfinch on their energy towards the connection. I really feel like they are open for a new beginning here. However, I feel like they, um, you know, the goldfinch also talks about freedom. And I feel like they may not want to be tied down or they may, um, I don't know, I feel like they are still discovering themselves a little bit. And even on how they see you with a cliff, it's like they're not sure if you're going to be a good option or not. They're not sure if you're going to be a risk um willing to uh, a good risk you know i feel like they may feel like they would be foolish to take a new beginning here with you um and i really feel like this I, I really keep getting that this is someone from the past because it's like how do i know if we get back together that the past is not going to repeat itself you know i feel like this person is struggling a little bit with that but at the same time they do think about you because with the six of cups here it's like they they have a lot of um nostalgia and and they do miss you and they do feel like they want you and they um would like to have a renewal here and to start a conversation again and and get things rolling and all of that at the same time they're like a bit hesitant so i do feel like this person does need a bit of time to just reset and be sure of what they want be aware of their surroundings and of what they want to create and i really feel like they are a bit hesitant on what next uh what step to take next in regards to this situation what is happening here next with the mirror it's that thing i feel like for partly you know with the mirror it is broken so it's almost like the thing of the uh the dream and the like the, but the portal right it, it's it's opening up i'm not seeing this has like oh it's broken it's not never gonna happen i see this has it's um it's opening up it's it's cracking open for you to be able to see each other so this could be you know we were talking about travel and if you are a distance maybe there is a travel opportunity for you to to meet one another but i also feel like this is talking about um possibly communication coming in or you communicating with this person you know just 
portal is opening up for you to be able to get into this ace of wands you know for you to be able to get into this renewal but let's get here i just saw 10 22 so um i really feel like you and you know 22 that is a number of partnerships uh so i really feel like you are aligned with a partnership with this person i just feel like it requires a bit of patience here okay so let's figure out here what is going on let's clarify a couple of things i do want to take a look into these ace of wands oopsie okay what is happening here we have death and rebirth the lovers wow this could definitely be like a divine counterpart situation and we have the page of swords yeah i do feel like there is a lot of spying on each other a lot of social media checking and all of that uh, maybe even tarot reader checking, you know, but uh, I do feel like things are a bit blocked right now But I really feel like you know with this death um, and the ace of wands things are blossoming things are growing things are sprouting between the two of you And I do feel like there is a new beginning being able to to happen here between the two And again, if you're not in a no contact if this is like a relationship you already have maybe had a little bit of a hiccup Maybe you thought that communication wasn't so clear between the two of you and i really feel like that is opening up and you're able to create a new solid beginning here but um with this lovers i do feel like there is still a strong attraction towards one another there is still a strong presence even um in each other's lives again right now i do feel like this is all very spiritual all very um i don't know in the 5d because like the, the 3d king of pentacles really seeing each other talking to each other that is still very blocked so um I feel like that is still not a thing right now, but things are definitely opening up um, beyond your control, you know, above you. But let's take a look into this person's side. Tell me about this Gofinch. What is going on with them? So we have the Queen of Pentacles, and it kind of wants to come out in the reverse. So it's like they're still figuring things out, possibly in career. But I do feel like it is also around their self-care. Um, and again, clearing away things that don't no longer serve them. Um, and it's interesting that we had the Gofinch and talking about travel and all of that. And we have the Harfund, which for me can be seen as like home. So this person could definitely be like moving homes or something like that. Um, and I really feel like that is creating an opening for you two to be uh, together. But I really feel like they are very focused on themselves and, and just trying to figure out their life. But let's see this six of uh, six six of pentacles, um, the six of cups. So we have the star, we have the ace of wands. This is smelling like renewal, all over the place. Yeah, three of wands. They do want to heal this connection, and I I do feel like part of them kind of wishes and longs for you, but another part of them is like, wait, what am I doing? No, 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 no. You know, um, and I do feel like that is this cliff. Let's actually just clarify it straight away. Um, and then we'll talk about it all together. But yeah, nine of wands, eight of cups, king of wands. It's like they want to, it, it's like their heart is saying something, but their mind is saying something else. Their heart is saying, oh shit, I love Aquarius Pisces. Oh shit, I want a renewal. This is my wish fulfillment. This is everything that I've always wanted. This is the one. Another side of them, the mind, I would say, is saying, but is this the really, the, like the right thing, you know? Uh, maybe I should just walk away. Maybe this is not going to lead into anything. And I really feel like they see this connection has. Maybe I should just put my walls up and not really trust this situation. You know, I really feel like they're scared of um, making the wrong move here and getting hurt. So King of Wands, like they're standing their ground and they're really trying to figure out what the best path is here for them. So let's see here with this mirror. What are what is happening here? What can we expect? We have five of pentacles, knight of wands. Okay, those are a lot, but we'll take them. We have three cups, eight of pentacles, and the magician. So that is interesting. Um, one thing that I'm getting here is like be aware of your approach because with this five of pentacles and knight of wands i am kind of getting the energy of how do i phrase this i feel like the portal that could be opening up 
one of the easiest way for it to open for you and for this person, you know, because they may be very blocked, they may also be very sexual. So one of the portals that could be opening up here between the two is the portal of sexual energy. However, I'm not sure if that is the best approach, you know, because I actually feel like you could push this person away a little bit. And with this three cups, eight of pentacles and magician is like, if you really want a relationship here with this person, it's like, it's, it's a thing. If like, if you had a, a, an argument, if you had a fight, even if it's this, this is not an ex, it's just like you're in a relationship and just had a, a fight. I really feel like you could be called to work things out through sex, but I feel like this person may need a little bit more. You know, I feel like this person may need a bit more security and a bit more, uh, it's nothing of the effort, you know? more effort will get you what you want. It's like, it's not just about, oh, that is beautiful, desire. Yeah, be certain of where you place your passion. There we go. Be conscious of where you place your passion. It's like you can use that sexual energy in a different way because that is coming from a sacral chakra. And sacral chakra, yes, it's very sexual, but it's also about passion. It's about drive. It's about ambition. Um, <laughs> it's about drive. It's about power. <laughs> um, but uh, I really feel that I, re I really feel like you can use that passion and sexual energy with drive and ambition to get this person and to move things forward in a different way, okay? So it's, it's this thing of like, maybe the sexual side, it's not the best approach for you right now, for this relationship right now, okay? I really feel like this person needs effort, needs commitment, and I feel like at the same time, it's like you're manifesting one another, so it's like, whatever <laughs> but uh i really feel like they need effort they need some sort of effort here um and solid action you know but let's get here a few messages from them what do they have to say Ooh. oh my goodness apparently they have a lot to say um let's see here we have i see a future with you we'll be together you're the one you make me a better person it's so interesting because i actually feel like this could be like your messages uh, towards them or something like that but i also feel like i do feel like you could be mirroring each other a little bit so it's like whatever you tell them whatever you feel i do feel like they feel the same it's just that they are a bit blocked but let's get into this deck because this deck usually is a bit more straightforward and honest is there too many? But we do have I love you, so I guess that is the truth. You know, that is the straightforward energy. Um, my past trauma is blocking me. And I do feel like if this is the next situation, it could be the past of this connection. I want a second chance. This is their in their deepest feelings, you know, uh, and deepest desires. I'm always looking for an excuse. And look at that. You're so hot. It's like this sexual energy is also from their side as well. But I don't think that is the best approach for you to create something solid with them you know um and i'm always looking for an excuse i also feel like this is talking about the social media it's like oh you know i just want to see how they're doing oh you know i just i just want to see if they're you know if their career is going good you know it's just it's just to see like what are you up to and are you seeing someone are you what is going on there you know um but yeah so what else do we need to know about this situation what can you tell us what is happening next year Well, apparently there's a lot you need to know. We do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations here, bottom of the deck. So definitely communicate with this person. Getting to know each other, you deserve love. Release your ex. And then we also have keep it in mind and codependency. So I do feel like this release your ex and codependency, it's like if there was any type of codependent energy here in the past, then that's definitely something to look into and to kind of release. I also feel like um, with the codependency, it may not even be codependency itself, but maybe control. Uh, and with this thing of like you being disappointed and you, you know, focus on all the parts to make the whole is like, look into all the things that are already working in this connection. You know, maybe you do dream a lot about each other. Um, or I mean, you dream a lot about this person. That is a way for you to know if that happens. But if you dream a lot about this person, it is likely that this person does too. And it, al it is also likely that your higher selves are communicating with one another. So you are making progress and developments in the 5D, okay? So that is already something for you to um, think about and for you to consider, you know? And with the getting to know each other and you deserve love, it's like, don't stop yourself. If you do reach out to this person, if this person reach out, reach, reaches out to you and there's this new beginning 
being able to blossom here. It's like, don't hold back, you know, really put yourself into this and allow yourself to, to, to show to this person and to, um, I don't know, even show this more vulnerable side of you, you know? Um, cause again, with this, like you deserve love and the Sag is like, you deserve more than just the sexual energy. This person deserves more than just the sexual energy. And I feel like this relationship, it's much more than just sexual energy. And it's about connecting with that more, you know, and letting go of the past between the two of you. Maybe the, you need to talk about that to release it. But, um, yeah. All right. Let's go here. A final little card for you for a device. And then we'll finish this up. What do we have for my Aquarius Pisces? Ooh, all right. So bottom of the deck, we do have demonstrate love. There we go. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. So there's that thing of like making the effort. Uh, the only thing that is really is love. Shift your focus back to love. So there's really this thing of, um, again, not just about sexual energy here. And um, it's also about already seeing where the love is between the two of you you know um because that sexual energy i do feel like it is an expression of that love but for this person i feel like right now um solid energy may be more important than the sexual energy you know because it, it's almost like the sexual energy is guaranteed um while the solid one may be a bit i don't know this person may not be so sure of the solid energy with you you know something around those lines while the sexual energy is like they know you find them hot, I, I, they know that they find you hot, you know, uh, or they know you know that they find you hot, something along those lines, it's like, they know that there is attraction between the two of you, essentially, um, and I feel like the more solid thing, perhaps they don't, so, oh my goodness, and, and look at that, be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care, so, yeah, I guess this all turns down to making some effort, I guess, but yeah, so Aquarius Pisces, um, this is what I have for you. Again, feel free to take the roles reversed if that is the case. But this is what I have for you. So if it resonated, if it helped, then uh, definitely smash the like button and subscribe. If you haven't already, I really appreciate it. And I would love to have you here. And you feel free to check out the other channel, the Bird's Nest Tarot for pick a cards. And there is also going to be a link below for a private reading in case you're interested in diving a, deep, a little bit deeper. I cannot talk a little bit deeper in this connection, okay? Um, so yeah, that is it. I love you very much. I wish you the best, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.